And we welcome you to ESPN College Football Primetime presented by Jack Link's Beef Jerky tonight. Two teams at the top of the WAC standing. San Jose State at 5-2 and two and ranked number 12 in the polls and in the BCS, the Broncos of Boise State. Right now, just waiting on the punt from Savala. And it's blocked! The Broncos specialize in blocking kicks. They've done it again. And it's Boise State will get the ball at about the 15-yard line. Looks like Childs may have blocked it. And Jason Robinson on the pickup. Third and goal from the five. Same throw. Different receiver, and it's a Broncos touchdown. No, it is Pettis on the catch. Different coverage that time. He went up against Christopher Owens, and this time Pettis comes down with the fade. Nice right in midfield instead of going for the punt. Yeah, this is not what I would do. I don't like it. And it doesn't look... Well, you've got one official standing on the 50, another one indicating that he didn't make it. Yeah, I just don't like the timing. You know, they get a touchdown, you're at midfield. If you don't get it, you set Boise State up. You know, with a short field again. And I tell you what, there's no celebrating by no. these Spartan players as they walk off. They know he didn't make it, and it's official. Yeah. A lot more tonight. Johnson stayed in for a moment. The block, and it's intercepted by Cole. It looked like it was going to be Johnson on the screen. If they can knock Moore out, he's got a touchdown, and he does. Spartans have scored. Avery at tailback. And speaking of speed, he rips into the Spartan secondary. And we've also seen Doug Martin in there, number 22 at times. Avery right now is the tailback. And you see why he gets playing time. You're not going to sit a guy that fast on the bench. Play action to Johnson. And what a nice little throw and a nice little catch by Jeremy Childs for the Boise touchdown. A lot of points. A lot of ball fakes to Moore and wide open is Peretta. First down and a lot more. Great downfield blocking by Childs who has a touchdown and Francis finally. And you don't have any 325 pound run stuffers in the middle for the Spartans as Moore again goes through a few series of fakes and wide open is Martin down to the 15 and Martin will get it inside the five and down to about the two yard line before Ianacho saved the touchdown on a 35 yard pickup. 50th whack rushing touchdown. He's going for it, and only two other players, their names are Ladanian Tomlinson and Marshall Falk, have done what Ian Johnson has done in the WAC. 50 rushing touchdowns. So what happened to the Boise State razzle-dazzle, throw-it-all-over-the-place offense? We've seen a little of that. Finished plays. Little fake to Avery. And nice throw by Moore. Boy, he fit that over in between the defenders and gets it to the San Jose 44-yard line. The catch made by Austin Pettis. He points. And the play action again. They go max protect. And again, this almost looks like the NFL, the way they're running this right now. A little play action fake, a little out pattern. Guy, the game number two. So keep an eye out from him. San Jose shifts. And Johnson runs. And Johnson's just shy. The ball is down. Is it a fumble? Or a touchdown. It looked like he lost that ball as he crossed the, before he crossed the goal line. And I think he tried to recover it in the end zone. Well, I think that was a fumble. Here's a potential game-changing call here, Rod. He did not have that football when he crossed the goal line. Ball was fumbled in the field of play. Touchback. And quarterback draw, and there is the first first down of the night for the Spartans and Reed's best run as he gains 14. I knew you'd get that. The McClyman's Warriors. <laughs> and Reed would nearly intercept it, but coming away with it is Harrison, and that's going to be close to another first down. It's do not have any timeouts. They bring pressure from the corners and left the middle open, and there's Richmond trying to get out of bounds, and he does. And that looks like it is another first down, a gain of 11. Go! Remember with these new timing rules, that clock was running all the time, and he nails it. That's a big three for the home team. There were a few fans here, Rod, who were booing this decision. A little power run formation. 
And they go to Rutley, and they go with speed. Rutley! They can't catch him. Touchdown, San Jose! 60 yards. For more. That little time that time, and what a great catch <laughs> by Tyler Shoemaker. Left after this one. And that's when they host Fresno State at the end of the season. That's going to be a first down catch made by Tyler Shoemaker. Boise will convert their sixth third down of the night. That's Austin Pettis in traffic, 10-yard gain. And that is nails right down the middle of the fairway. So Boise picks up three, but we still have a pretty tight game here at Spartan Stadium. Five. Will Dick Tomey's words be prophetic? Team down by seven, but they've hung in. They were down by 14. Little nifty ball work for Reed. First down and a lot more for the Spartans as they go to Brian Ellings, the backup tight end, the senior from Newell, California. And the first down for San Jose State. Pressure from Winterswijk. Nice little drop off to Harrison, but he's running the wrong way. He didn't turn up the field, and he put the ball on the ground. Now coming away with the ball is Chase Baker. And the field judge rules it is a fumble. Yeah, Harrison is trying to make something happen and get everything, but that ball is stripped. Size and size as a comparison. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll buy that. Davis almost got him, but he didn't. And that's going to be right of the marker and more. First down, that's Austin Pettis. Oh. He splits out. Moore under pressure. He'll dump it to Avery. What a move! And again, you see the strength, and he has a first down. Right in front of the Boise State fans who came out to San Jose. And they Eight out of 11 on the year. Nine out of 12. So now San Jose State, a team that has struggled offensively. Oh, they, think about that. Oh, loud. I know you've given this some thought. <laughs> I know that. Here's Avery. And he has been a tackle buster. Boy, he has played a great game. I am incredibly impressed by him. Chris Tate. Okay. Two spots left, right? Ian Johnson. What a nice little cutback that was for Johnson. And some excellent blocking here by Boise State. Good. Conceivably, both make it. What if Notre Dame runs out? Uh oh. <laughs> Johnson running out of the backfield and getting close to the first down. He'll be about a yard short. Game. We'll take it up with the commissioner of the Big 12. Why don't you call him tomorrow? Let's see what he has to say. Johnson straight ahead, and he's in. Ian Johnson with his second touchdown of the night, a 10 yard run, and it's official. The BCS Busters will live the bust another week. And I got to tell you, they're looking like a BCS busting team to me. You look at their schedule, you see this record that he has now second rushing touchdown tonight. A new now taking a possibly another team from the WAC if the Pac-10 can't come up with another team. And San Jose State, that's going to be intercepted. And Boise State will be the one to get the run out the clock. Interception by Jamar Taylor, a freshman. That'll be his first down of the year. San Jose State still has Idaho on the road. Impact on the WAC race. And they themselves. Got to consider themselves a contender. They're two and one after their first three whack games. Right now, I'd say I'd be surprised if this team does not go undefeated now. I think getting past San Jose State was the big hurdle for Boise State. Chris Peterson and Dick Tomey, great respect for each other. Chris Peterson now 30 and three in his career at Boise State. Dick Tomey walks off the field with 180 wins, but couldn't get number 181 tonight as the Broncos just too much defense and San Jose State just not quite enough offense tonight. So it's Boise State with the victory. Our final score is Boise State 33, San Jose State 16. Well, coming up next will be baseball tonight. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, just log on to ESPN.com. For Rod Gilmore and our entire crew, I'm Dave Lamont. Thanks for watching, everyone. Good night.